Good morning everyone, this is Diane and I am finally ready to start on a new project. I'm pretty excited to do this. Um, this is pretty much an unthemed project which I've been wanting to do. Um, someone had sent me these book covers, Bobsy Twins, and I am going to use those but they are going to look completely different. You would never know that they were Bobsy Twins books when I'm done hopefully. I decided that I'm going to use these as the back covers. Um, they're very sturdy, very thick, sturdy book covers, but I didn't want these pictures on the front. And the backs were quite pretty also. So I'm going to turn these into the backs and they will be covered and I'm using the backs as the fronts and this is what the fronts will look like. See, it has a nice pattern on the front. So what we're going to do right now is to cover the backs. I want to take some sandpaper. Now these are textured, but there's a, I, I don't know about the finish on them, so I'm afraid that if I Mod Podge something to them that it won't stick. I have Mod Podged things to glossy covers and it just peeled right off when it dried. So we're gonna take no chances and we're gonna use some sandpaper. Sorry for the noise. library books so there's some tape on them too which I can't get off so we're just going to try to deal with it now I want to wipe off the, the dust from the sanding And I have these pages that I had printed, they're wallpaper images. And that's what I want to cover the back with. The edge of that is dirty. So I'm going to Mod Podge those on. I cut this one a little short, so I'll just put some lace or something down there. So I have my Mod Podge already in my little cup with some water added to thin it. And I'm just going to coat my cover. I want to make sure, let's see, I have to make sure I get it the right way because this is going to actually be upside down. It doesn't make that big of a difference, but I think there is a right side up pattern to this to this um, digital. I am inspired by Rachel from Roxy Creations. If you haven't seen her channel, I highly recommend checking it out. She is Australian but married to an Italian, so she lives in Italy. She has a wonderful Etsy shop with some really nice, um, I put too much Mod Podge on here, some very nice um, images. She, she sells creations. She does sewing too, not just junk journals. And she has some digital kits um, of digital ephemera and um, some, here I'm going to do it the wrong way again, some linens and things like that, and I'm going to be using quite a few of them in these books. Doilies, uh, embroidery pieces, she has 
digi kits of those. So although I don't really have a theme for these, the inspiration is from Rachel. I'll try to remember to link her YouTube channel and her shop below. I put a lot more Mod Podge in my cup than I needed, but I can pour it back into the container even though it's been whew, even though it's been um, diluted because I dilute it almost every time anyway. There isn't much in my jar left. So I'll have to buy some more pretty soon. I have um, something upcoming that I'm excited to sh be able to share. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but it is a collaboration with some other YouTube creators. So I'm pretty excited about that. As soon as I know more details, um, you will know more details. So I just have to let those dry and we can work on the um, front covers. I don't think I'll be using Mod Podge on the front covers because I'm putting lace underneath the images that I'm putting down. start with this one sits in since it's on top I wanted to show you something here it is one of my subbies I think it's Cheryl but I I could be wrong I think it's Cheryl sent me a while ago a whole bunch of these vintage decoupage pieces they are, of course, reproductions, but they are, but they were vintage. The packaging was vintage, and she sent me a lot of them. And I think I've used one or two, maybe, in other projects. But these are going to be front and center on the covers. So this one is a painting by David of a lovely lady. I want to wipe any surface dirt off of this one, off the front. There's a little bit of paper still on there, um, which is going to be covered with lace. I don't know if I should try to remove it or just camouflage it, because it, it, you can see it through the lace. This will be down there, but then there will then there will be um, fabric binding there too. So I think it'll be pretty much covered. We'll just go with it. So first thing I'm going to do is glue this lace down. This is antique lace. You can see the the differences in the coloration on it. It's lighter here, darker here. I did not dye this. This is how I received it. I purchased it at a flea market. It's even darker on that side. We'll put that side up. I love it because that is real aging on it. Oh goodness, I couldn't get my Mod Podge open, but I had run hot water over it before the video started and got it open. And I was struggling with this, but we got it. My Fabri-Tac is almost gone, but I do have a bottle of 3-in-1 waiting in the wings. I don't want to cover this too much with the binding. And I'm not sure where to put the glue. I'd like to just put it on the book cover, but I 
guess I better put it on the lace. I want to make sure it's on the right side. Yeah, I guess the darker side is the back side of it. Come on, glue. I didn't get to do any crafting yesterday, but I spent the day with my sisters, which we all needed. We really enjoy our time together. And we take turns hosting, so this time I went to my sister Annette's house, and she made chicken and biscuits. A favorite of all of us. We grew up in the country, and that's a good country dinner, you know. It is my favorite meal, if it's made right. It was delicious. And when her husband came home from work, he's such a sweetheart. He came home from work and he had little potted um, mini roses, miniature roses. One for each of us. Wasn't that sweet? He gave me a pink one. I'm sure he doesn't know that's my favorite color, but he had colors, he selected colors for each of us, and that was the one he picked for me. Oh, I think I was going to cover this. Actually, I don't know if I want to cover that. Look how beautifully aged this is. I do need to cover this black, though. I kind of want the ends of the lace to show. What can I put over that? Just put a little strip of that ribbon there. A pretty floral ribbon. I spent oh Friday, Saturday, and Sunday cleaning and organizing because I didn't have to just clean my craft room up between projects like I normally do. I had um, rearranged things in here and I had to reprocess everything and I did a lot of changing of how I organize and store things in here. So it's been quite an ongoing project for a few weeks. So my stamp, this table that I'm at has has been moved its position. It's pretty much in the same spot, but it's up against the wall now where it was jutting out like a peninsula. <clears throat> so anyway, the way I moved it, I like it. It gives me more open floor space, but it also gave me less storage space. I can't even explain why, but it did. So it required a great deal of finagling. like that word, finagling. So, I did go to church on Sunday, but as soon as I ate my lunch, I got back to work. So, it's not quite done. I have to vacuum, and I have, you know, the little piles you end up with that, like, I don't know what to do with this, so you put them in this little pile. I have to deal with that, and I have to vacuum. But it's pretty much organized and done. But I couldn't, I didn't have a chance to do anything in here yet because Monday I had to uh, go run my errands up in Horseheads. And you saw my video of my uh, Hobby Lobby and Salvation Army haul. Hopefully you did. If you didn't, you can go back and watch that. And then yesterday I spent the day with my sisters. So today I finally get to craft. Oops. 
and I'm just going to add a little bit of fabric here and a little bit of crochet lace right there. And I might add this little blue button because it's really pretty. It's vintage. I already had cut the shank off, but I'm going to try to cut a little bit more. It sticks up a little bit there. I wasn't hungry when I got up, and now I feel like I should have had breakfast. I think I would like to stamp a word on some muslin and add it down here, but I'll do that later because I don't know what word I'd have to rummage through some stamps to do that, and I won't make you wait through that. I'm going to see if I can cut that shank a little bit better. <clears throat> I have my wire snips here. Don't know if they will, they just want to slip right off. Got a little bit off. I think maybe I'm holding them upside down. Yes. That does the trick. That is better. I think that's probably about as good as it's going to get. That's pretty good. So I'm going to use crystal effects to glue that on. Glossy Accents is what I have. Crystal Effects, I think, is the Stampin' Up! brand that I used to use. So that's what I keep calling it. This is Ranger's Glossy Accents. You have to remember this is not as fast drying as the Fabri-Tac. You have to let it sit and dry. There. It's my cover and I might have a little word added to it. Oops. Let's see how these are doing. Next cover. Got the artist for this one. Again, we have something to cover up there. Joshua Reynolds, that's the artist for that one. Just remembered. Another thing that I am planning on doing is um, some videos with using scraps because I have so many and I've been cleaning as you know and organizing as I just talked about. Let's see how I wanted to do this. Put her, her down and this. I'm using the fabric to make sure that tapey part gets covered. 
And then I had these at the top. Okay, so she goes first. <clears throat> so I want to do a series of videos on using scraps and also using stash. Things that I have in my stash that I really need to use, like time cards, envelopes, um, vintage pieces that I have, like bingo cards and flash cards and playing cards and wallpaper and wrapping paper. So, whoop, sorry. I want to do a series on both of those. like in between journal projects and things like that. They used really good tape. This is a little scrap of vintage fabric. I want the dark side out, even if it is the back. Well, I guess not. We'll put the back on the back. Ooh, I'm almost out. I just find the more solid pieces of the lace and put the glue on and make sure the edges get glued down. some music note fabric and a blue crochet doily and this little button vintage button I didn't cut this off at all whoa that came clean off Pretty good. <clears throat> My glue is bubbling over. I hate wasting glue that just runs down the side of my spout. is not cheap. Come on. 
down there. Maybe it's time to open the next bottle. glossy accents again. The back of it is pretty too. It clogged up already. Everything sticks to my fingers because my fingers are covered in glue. Okay, now I can let that dry. Now, those are the two journals that I want to work on, but I was thinking that maybe I should do a couple more. So I got out some books, book covers. Tip this upside down so the glue will run down and be ready for me. I didn't didn't select anything except for the uh, main image for these. I started playing a little bit, but I brought some laces over. So these are just plain old covers that I got at the library, the dollar a book sale or a dollar a bag sale. So I just selected plain books with covers that I could embellish because I do love to use uh, vintage books that already have pictures on them but I also like to decorate my own covers so I had gotten a pile of these books paid a dollar for a pretty big bag of them and of course I love this color pink and burgundy. I'm going to do that over my garbage can. Even if you can't see what I'm doing, I'm just trimming the excess paper off of this book cover. Cleaning them up a bit. This one is textured and heavier, probably a little bit older. I don't know, it was, it, yeah, it's Helen Steiner Rice, Blossoms of Friendship. I have the pages of this book, I saved them. But again, it's a pretty um, dark, dark burgundy color. Wine, maybe. <clears throat> I won't have to Mod Podge anything to the back since I don't have a image to cover up on these. So I can just set the back pieces aside. <coughs> oh, so sorry. <clears throat> so I thought maybe I would use that piece, but I grabbed some more <clears throat> laces. Here's another vintage piece that might be pretty on it. It's a pale pink but I think the white stands out better. Maybe this will be pretty on the burgundy one. Um,
Now I'm going to grab some coffee dyed muslin and cheesecloth and see if I can do anything with them. <clears throat> I'm also going to pour this <clears throat> so, sorry, Mod Podge back into the bottle. So I don't think I'll be using it again today. Clean that up a little better so maybe it won't stick the next time. some little fabric pieces too. I think I'm going to stop the video right now and then start another one <clears throat> to show the do <clears throat> decorating of these covers. I'll be right back.